What's up guys? So I just got the new Ecotech Marine uh, Radeon XR30W Pro lights. This is the G4 edition. As you can see, it's a uh, it's a pretty fancy light. Pretty small, very lightweight, compact. So uh, let's go ahead and get to the unboxing. So here's the front of the box. Go ahead and go around there. There's just, uh, you know, box stuff uh, on the back. We have some specs about this light. Uh, they have upgraded the lenses on each of these LEDs. They call it HEI Optics. Um, and what this does is it gives a larger spread on the uh, on the LEDs, giving you a, a better par over a larger area. Now this one has 46 LEDs, ranging from about 400, I'm gonna say 420 nanometers, you know, all the way up to you know, the high 600s, approaching 700 nanometers. Um, the non-pro versions, I believe, do not include, uh, I think they don't include the UV or violet, one of these, but the pro does. Um, so over here you can see the uh, different channels. So you have, you know, cool white, deep blue, blue, green, photo red, UV, violet, and warm white and the number of LEDs and then the maximum wattage that each channel has. Now this is 115 volts at 3.5 amps or, 100, or 240 volts at 2.5 amps. The max wattage here is 190 watts per light or per fixture. Uh, now these are preloaded with uh, some spectrum configurations so you can adjust you know what kind of white you want you know the temperature if you want a warm white a cool white or uh, actinic lights but of course it's, it's fully controllable if you have a uh, a reef link or an apex controller or something like that that's Mac and PC compatible you can control this on your iOS or Android device it's web-based programming with EcoSmart Live and uh, let's go ahead and open it up. So here on the inside, you have the setup guide, which nobody reads. And the LED fixture. Now included in there is a little uh, warranty registration. And then you have obviously your light fixture, your power supply, and the cable for your to plug in your power supply. Yeah. Also with it is a uh, looks like a micro USB cable. I assume this is so you can plug it into your uh, Apex or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Now taking the fixture out. We have it with the fixture here. Get the fan in the middle with your two LED arrays. You have some screws here. Uh, got holes in the top of them. I assume this is for hanging your light. Got four of them, and then you have a microfiber cloth. Okay, let's go ahead and plug this in and see what happens. Okay, I had to unplug my studio light to get this thing plugged in. It's a three prong. My extension cable is only two prong. So as you can tell this is incredibly bright. I uh, don't even want to look at it. But here you have the controls. So right now it's turned all the way up. We can hold the 
down arrow and we can dim it 1% at a time I believe. So this is going to take quite a while. So as you can see it's getting dimmer and dimmer but the camera is probably adjusting for that. So there we go, we are all the way down. So you can see the different colors on this. We have this button in the middle which will cycle through the different modes. So if we click that, it becomes a little bit colder. Click it, we have a pure white. Click it again. We're just cycling through. So this actually looks more of an actinic color. We'll see how it turns out on camera. But obviously if you plug this into your controller, or your reef link, or whatever, you can control each individual channel and do the spectrum of your choice. So, the fan is running. I'm going to stick this up next to the camera so you can hear it. It's incredibly quiet. So there you have it, the unboxing of the XR30W Pro Radeon G4s. We'll see you in the next video.